So here we're going to assess hip abduction strength. We're assessing the glute medius. We're going to get the patient in side lying. So Harriet, I'm going to get you to rest your arm down, rest your head here. And what we want to make sure we do is we keep the bottom knee slightly bent. I'm going to ask Harriet to roll the hip slightly forward here, leg into extension. Now, using a handheld dynamometer, nice old fashioned one here, but you can get some uh, more modern ones that will give you the peak force. And I'm going to ask Harriet to push up as hard as she can. And I'm going to hold this for six seconds, five to six seconds. Push, 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 hold, 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 that's it. Hold, 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 and relax. Good. And then I get a measurement on my handheld dynamometer. Now I want to retest this a couple of times to make sure I get an accurate measurement. And we also make sure we assess this with the opposite leg. Because um, we know that I, uh, with ITB symptoms, that hip abduction in female athletes is, all, is often reduced. So we then put, the, we test them, we, we get a number, we then give them a program and give them a strengthening plan and we retest to see if they are progressing as we would like them to.